ladies and gentlemen how's it going jesse here back at it again with another video um, we're back at it again at another car show as always as you can see look at that nice camera we're driving on by hey sweet but we're here in irwin tennessee looking at the great mountains of tennessee gotta love living here it's very awesome um all right, so we're here in Irwin for their Southeastern Autorama. This is something they hold every year toward the kind of middle part of October. It did get pushed back a week due to some weather that kind of happened um, last week, so. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, so this video was kind of a little bit, <laughs> honestly today was just a lot of last second decisions. Um, I was gonna head to Pigeon Forge because they were there was gonna be a car show down there hosted by uh, G4 Rally. Um, I was going to leave about 9-ish at the house, and then I found out, go to the Facebook page where they were, you know, uh, showing off the uh, show. Turns out it was going to be done with about 10.45, so by the time I got there, it was not going to be, uh, it was going to be over by the time I got there. So, this was kind of just the last second decision to come down here, and, uh, and also last second decision because I didn't know if I feel like recording or not. I've been dealing with a bunch of just headache stuff recently last couple of weeks um whether it's tension headaches or chronic I, I don't know but i've been dealing with this for about oh about two weeks now so i've not really been feeling the best but i feel decent enough now to where i feel like i can record and that kind of stuff so um yeah i guess it kind of worked out in the end you know we still can see the car show and uh and i feel good enough to record so pretty good um so I believe this is gonna be my last car show of the year that I will be attending. There's a lot of other stuff that's gonna be happening around Halloween, um, but I think that for the most part, this will be my last show I record this year. Um, if I do decide to go anything else, I don't know, we'll see. But I think I'm gonna, this will be my last one um, for this year, because I gotta, I still gotta edit a bunch of videos. So I'm still behind on a bunch of other videos that I need to get out there, so. And plus, I gotta kind of start getting prepared for next year and see what I want to do about that. So, um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to bringing you guys coverage. There's a lot of cars here, so I don't know if I'll show off everything, but we will definitely try our best. So, um, if you guys enjoy the video, please hit that like button, hit, hit that subscribe button as well. We're close to 500 subscribers. Let's get to it. And uh, as always, guys, for the final time of the year, let's go have some fun. I'm telling you guys, when it's packed, it's, it's packed. <laughs> I went to the show last year, and it was filled up to the brim with cars. So, um, Also, another thing as well, I already kind of looked at every car that was here. I was already taking pictures and stuff like that. So we're already going to know a little bit what's already here. So, But at least I can try to show off as many cars as I can to... Uh, Please, you guys. All right, we're gonna start up here. Got a lot of Mopars lined up right here. Starting with this, uh, leads us a demon. Yeah, I had to make sure. <laughs> the only the the, way, the the main difference between a uh, Hellcat and the demon is just the wide body flares that you see right here on the uh, on the fenders. Most cases, um, these are. SRT demons, unless they're um, they make scat back while bodies as well for these cars. So, here's a challenger. I think I've seen this one before. Nice paint job on it. Plymouth AR Cuda. Always love me a Cuda. Things are sweet. I would love to have a, a car like that. Here's a second Dodge Challenger. Another challenger right here. Not bad. Nice. That purple is really cool in this car. Good. I think this is the year I really like too. The front and everything. Yeah, it looks good. It looks amazing. I 
also one thing you may notice i am going a little bit quick that's also because that uh where i've had so many videos i'm not uploaded yet plus i'm not saving the clips for the for another type of video later on when i get toward the end of the year i am going quick just because of i don't have a lot of memory left on it so, so i'm trying to excuse me i'm trying to show off as much as i can I try to get everything within a very short period of time, otherwise oh, yeah. I'll probably run out of memory and then I'll be sad and, and I don't want to be sad, <laughs> but uh, it's kind of my fault for uh, not getting the videos in time, but hey, it is what it is. Hey buddy, hey buddy, what are you doing? What you barking at? What? Mustang. <laughs> He's nice. All right, guys. I think what I'm looking at is probably the hottest Corvette I have ever seen in my life. It's sizzling. It's just, it's very heated car. I think you guys will melt. You'll fall in love with it just because how hot it is. You guys, ready? I am full punts today, aren't I? I remember seeing this too. This was here, I think, last year or the year before that I went. They did a really good job. I want to know if it's if it's painted or I want to say it is, but I'm not sure. I don't know. It really, unless I see like some peeling, I don't know if it's going to be like a wrap or not. But I think this is all paint, from what I understand. That is really nice, though. That's really sick. What I'm going to do for this part, I'm going to try to record everything that's lined up. I don't think I'm going to do a one fell swoop, but any cars that look really awesome, I'm going to kind of try to stop and take a look at it real up close. There's a GTO coming up. I think it's cool. First thing I want to get up close was this uh, Pontiac uh, Gasser. I literally forgot what the name was like. What these type of cars were when I got here. I was just like, what? <laughs> oh my God, I don't remember. Like, I'm supposed to know this stuff and I don't. But hey, sometimes you forget and sometimes you just gotta learn. This thing's sweet though. Like, really awesome. Let's look inside of it. Look at that. That is a nice car. I bet those things are probably fun to rip it down the drag strip. AMC right there. Then the car want to pay attention to use this uh, Roadrunner. Like I said, I love old Mopars like this. The 70s Mopars are especially just really, really awesome. I think the green looks really good on it. Beautiful car. 
sorry. Another Plymouth. Oh, Plymouth wagon. Home satellite. Don't know much about those. Chevrolet. Nineteen seventy four Mustang Mach One. I thought I love these style of Mustangs. It's probably my favorite. Really slick car. Absolutely love to own one of these one of these days. I love it. There's a clean belt there. A silver red interior looks really good on it. Too. You do a lot of stuff to these cars. As you can see. So we're gonna think about the helmet. Yeah. That square body right here looks good in black. Pink Bel Air with the Hendrick Motorsports play on it. Shout out to Hendrick Motorsports. Although my driver's not doing well this year, he got he wasn't able to get into the playoffs or anything. But hopefully, to put this year behind him and kind of get ready for next year. Z28 Camaro. Oh, this thing's sick. This little hot rod right here. Oh my gosh. Do the same. Oh my gosh, look at how the steering wheel folds like that. Wow. And the shifter is just like super tiny. That's awesome. That was really cool. Fit the Chevrolet truck, 3100. Mode and everything. I love the color. I love the color on it too. Blue and black. Uh, blue with the white stripes look really cool. Sorry, guys. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Ford Torino GT. Looking car. <laughs> Got a Chevelle right here. If you found a good price on one of them, I would do that. C10. is not a thing that happens, but. Sorry. You're fine. C10. Then we've got a Nova. Also, if you guys think I'm going a little fast, kind of just you can slow down the video as well. I'll try to walk this a little bit slow. That way, you guys can kind of get the full idea of the cars. This thing's awesome, too. I love these things. The GNXs. I absolutely love this car. 
I've always been a big fan of these GMXs. I just don't know why. I love them. Man, it's a pretty car. Look at the Chevrolet. That pretty red. Chevrolet Malibu. It looks really good. GTX. There's a GMC kind of step side. Paul Orange. Reminds me of time this video. I know Tennessee's playing in Alabama at some point later on today. So it should be interesting. Real pretty truck. Here's another gasser. That was the car that was making all the noise in the world when I was filming the Cobra, but these things are nice. Really slick. You never want a car that wants something, you're not a lot of noise, you can get a gasser. That's for sure. Look how big the blower is. Oh my gosh. That is big. Power Soft's left side, Chevrolet Caprice. I stopped going through this really fast. About time best to kind of slow it down. The the Chevrolet Nova. We were in the Again, if I get a car wrong as well, like if I just misread what it is or whatever, uh, let me know. Dodge cop car. This is Chevelle blue. Looking really nice. Thing right there, classic Chevrolet truck right there. So we're whipping through this. Yeah, yeah. Dawson 280Z. You guys probably have seen this a lot on the channel. I mean, we was running 100. Really nice. 
Shall I square body? That classic Chevrolet. It's got LSX according to the uh, badging on the side of it. Old Ford. Chevrolet Nova. Camaro. Green. L3. Has the motor. Looks good. Alright, starting back. No Chevrolet C10. We'll get that blue. 69 Camaro Z28. For SS. Not bad.
no music. I don't have to worry about this. In off of a Mustang. Fastback. What do you guys think? You like, you like the square tops? Or do you guys like the fastbacks of these fuzzy Mustangs? Let me know in the comments. I'm more of a square top type of person. But this is still really cool nonetheless. Old Ford. And the end off on a beautiful roadrunner. I love the color of this thing. Love the orange 440. Six pike engine. I think it's beautiful. Got a little toy car too. Look at that. Really awesome. All right, guys, that was the Southeastern Autorama in Irwin, Tennessee. That was really, really fun. Um, we got to meet a lot of people there as well. Got to kind of spread the, the channel out a little bit. Um, but yeah, it was a very fun time. Great people. Um, really had a, really had a blast. Um, weather wasn't too bad either. It was kind of cool, but took my jacket off. Got a little bit, a little bit, uh, a little bit warmer, but, uh, but yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, coverage of the car show like i said i know it was really quick but with uh me not having a lot of swords left on my ca camera um i had to like be really quick about it so um apologize if the the video you know wasn't really up to par but at least i was able to get like pretty much almost every car in the video so that that's uh good good enough for me so um but yeah this is my last car show when we attended this year um all i could say is i've had a very fun year um very expensive year too i spent <laughs> probably spent a lot of money traveling this year more than i have ever but um yeah i'm gonna try to my main goal is to for the rest of the year is just to push out these videos i know i'm behind on a bunch of them i'm gonna try to push them out as quick as i can get those out and then i'm gonna try to go ahead and work on next year because i know i think with this type of uh content you know that for automotive car shows that kind of stuff you try to like one up yourself try to each year try to get bigger and better and that kind of stuff so um i've got some ideas already for next year um in terms of you know what i'm going to be recording and or at least you know what type of events i'll be going to as well as trying to get my channel out there as well so that is the plan well i wouldn't say i have a plan yet but uh kind of working on a few things but uh but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. As always, hit that subscribe button, guys, if you want to see more. And uh, for the last time, guys, uh, it's sad. Kind of, it's kind of sad to see this last car show. But hey, you know, Lord willing, um, you know, there's always next year. You never know. But uh, but yeah, till next time, guys. Uh, take care. God bless. And as always, have a good one.